Okay, so we're starting off with hip crossovers, lying down on the ground. <clears throat> Feet on the ground and just gently moving knees side to side. Okay, now I'm going to get up and move around a little bit. So technique on this one, pretty easy, just keeping your ribs on the ground, gently moving your uh, feet back and forth, or sorry, knees back and forth. Uh, we do this for about 30 seconds. Next exercise, we're gonna roll directly into our scorpion. So we're rolling onto our side, or onto our front, and then reaching with the foot up towards your opposite hand. Go ahead. <coughs> So again, we do this for about 30 seconds. You probably have time for somewhere between three and five repetitions of the scorpion with each leg. I'll get out of the way here. Okay, that's great. So next exercise, we're gonna get up onto a knee. If you want, you can kneel on a towel. Um, so kneeling lunge position here, hands on the hips. And using your butt muscle on that side to just tip the pelvis backwards. So tipping the pelvis back in order to get that stretch in that side. Up nice and tall. So you should feel a gentle stretch here in your hip flexor. Then we're going to switch that up. So opposite side. Hip flexor is one of the most important muscles for us to keep flexible. So. These muscles, when they're tight, will actually restrict your jumping ability, so that's why we do this one. <clears throat> also leads to a lot of back injuries when you're tight through here. Okay, next one we're gonna do is lying down on the ground. This is open up and breathe. Taking the top leg onto the ground, opening up the arm across just a little bit above shoulder height. Deep breath all the way in and all the way out. Should be able to get two or three, maybe four really deep breaths here. We're just going to roll into that same exercise on the left side. Coming up here, reaching back, and deep breaths. Okay. Next exercise we're gonna get into is alternating lats, reach and press. So on the knees, hands a little wider than shoulder width apart, and then reaching one hand towards the other and pressing down into the ground. Just for a few seconds, and reaching across the other side, pressing down into the ground. Do this one for a fair bit of time because we wanna get it into both sides give you adequate time to stretch both arms. Okay, so that's our shoulder and back spinal mobility exercises. Next one that we're gonna do will be Iron Man's lying face down. You can put your head on a towel if you have one with you. Arms right down by your side, and then pulling the shoulder blades. I'm going to get these guys to demonstrate pulling the shoulder blades together and lifting the hands off the ground. I'm going to do this for about five repetitions with five second holds, or 30 seconds, whichever comes first. So it's looking really good. Rail is demonstrating, trying to keep the neck muscles up here really relaxed. Okay, so the next component here over the next 30 seconds is shoulders uh, working towards 90 degrees. So you're gonna move your hands out from the side of the body and in five repetitions, work your way up towards 90 degrees. Okay, we're about halfway. So you have four or five positions working up to 90 degrees. 
right? Next one will be at 90. <clears throat> okay, so after we've done that, um, your lower traps muscles are starting to feel pretty warm. We're getting into a T position. We're gonna do some faster dynamics up and down, about eight to 10 repetitions. Next one is gonna be a W, so reaching forward. Again, trying to engage those muscles in between your shoulder blades. <clears throat> Somewhere around eight repetitions again. Next exercise that we're gonna do will be um, the Y exercise, so reaching up and pulling the hands up off the ground. Again, really just trying to engage the muscles around the lower part of the shoulder blade here. And keep the muscles up around the top of the necks as relaxed as possible. So this is not about as going as high as you can, it's about engaging your shoulder blade. Next exercise is gonna be the L, so up on hands and knees, using your hitting arm, pulling up, and then doing some external rotation. You can go through a few repetitions there. Okay, now we're gonna get into a plank. So on our forearms and our feet, lifting one leg off the ground. And then the other leg. Going for about a three to five second hold here. You can go at your own pace. We're trying to stay up for about 30 seconds. Next exercise, we're gonna be into a side plank on the knees, this way. Turning your foot down, leading with the heel and lifting the leg up. So you can have your hand on your hip here, you can have it there, you can reach it up towards the ceiling. Okay, next exercise will be bridging. Lying on your back and pressing all the way up. Extending one leg, hold for about three to five seconds, then switch. That's good. Gently, you can hollow your tummy out, so pull your tummy down towards your spine a little bit, and really try and press up with your bum muscles so you get a straight line from the shoulder to the hip to the knee. Okay, last one in the circuit is gonna be side plank. Again, this is just repeating what we've done before. <clears throat> so really try and press forward with um, your hips. So you're getting full hip extension on both sides. And if you want to at home, you can do this whole circuit um, three times through and that's really gonna help you to build up your core strength. Okay, so we can get up now. The next exercise we're gonna do here um, on our feet, just a forward and backward leg swing. Somewhere between five and eight repetitions on this side. Okay, and then you can do the other side. As you can see, we're really just trying to press into a good hip extension, keeping the body upright. We're working on our balance here a little bit as well. Next one we're gonna do is a half circle lunge and pass. So we're here, um, lunging out to the side, touch the ground. Same thing to the other side, touch the ground. We're gonna work through about four positions. Okay, last couple positions are really pretty directly forward. Try and keep your spine upright as you're moving through these, okay? Next ones we're gonna do will be a deep overhead squat so you can reach all the way up like this. Come down as deep as you can into that squat. Some people won't be able to get quite as deep. That's a good indication you wanna be looking into working on your flexibility, maybe around the ankle, maybe around the hip, maybe around the upper back. <clears throat> okay. Next one we'll do is quad stretch and toe touch. Right here, reaching up and then coming down to touch your toe and back up. Switching sides. We'll have enough time to do this twice on each leg. So 
challenging exercise both from a balance point of view and a flexibility point of view. Okay, next one we're gonna do, um, getting into our block squat. So we'll get you guys to face towards each other. Hands up high, or sorry, hands low, coming here and exploding up into your block jump almost. Up onto your toes, good. So let's get a little hold as you come down here and then explode up, that's good. Perfect, okay, let's take a little step back. Next one we're gonna do is a Batman. Um, squat, hold, and explode up. So same thing, Batman position. Up, try and generate some power here with our arms. So we're gonna look at explosiveness with that arm swing. Okay. Uh, next one that we're gonna do will be a block jump and then landing, trying to stick your landing. Okay, so we're in this position. We're just gonna jump up and then try and come down, stick that landing on one foot. <coughs> and up, working on our one foot at a time here. We're just looking for that control to develop, the ability to land on one foot. Okay, and you can switch feet now and continue. So situation is like if you're blocking <clears throat> and you sense that you're really close to somebody, you're gonna land on their foot and you, you may need to be able to actually stabilize yourself on one foot in order to avoid an injury. Okay. And that's uh, the last exercise in our routine. So thanks a lot guys for your help.